Do you know what a Beyblade is? Huh? Do you ever use a Beyblade? <laughs> I've heard of a Beyblade. You ever I've seen never one? Never seen a Beyblade. See what I'm saying? You never, you never, you never, you never linked up with your boys. One of them's got the plastic Beyblade arena, and you, you come with your one. You look at metal one, and you ring it until nah. you, till you fling him out the arena. Nah, yeah, yeah. Nah. You never played Beyblade. Nah, yo, yo, <laughs> you've missed out, bro. The Funny Francis and Dre podcast. <laughs> I go by the name of Funny Francis, Big Belly for the Big Telly, your grandmother's favourite care home visitor. Yo, it's Dre, we don't play and we're filming another episode of the podcast today. Episode two. And yo, if you guys didn't know, there's an 11 year age difference between us. I'm young and fine and he's getting old. So today we're going to be talking about the differences between us old versus young type of thing. And how I thought we were going to start it is we're going to do a slang test. So I'm going to bring up current slang that I say, and he's going to bring up a few slang terms that he would have spoke about back in the, the 1970s <laughs> when he was knocking about. Do you get me? So um, we're going to see if we know. All right, cool. We'll start easy. What does leng mean? Oh, everyone knows what leng means, bro. Yeah, this is, we're starting easy. Leng well, means you want to clart it, because oh. that's what uh, leng means. Yeah. <laughs> I put, I put attractive. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Next one. Charge it. What? <laughs> what? Charge it. Charge like, it. Uh, you want me to use it in a sentence? No. Wait. 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 Charge it. Yeah. Like charge it. Charge it to the game. Charge it. What? Like 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 the Romans. The charging. Like yeah. The... No. 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 Like. Okay. Cool. 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 Charge it. Ah, oh, bro. Um. Ah, uh, oh, bro. Like I really wanted to go do that. Now we're not gonna do it anymore. Charge it, bro. Oh, does that mean like dead it? It's dead. Like, yeah, like like just firm it. Like yeah. Firm it, blood. Yeah, like firm it. Just like ah, is what just it take is. It. Is what it is. Yeah. So so so, so, so basically, you're saying like just take it on the chin. Yeah, type of thing. Okay. So if you want to get charge it. Like, all right, cool. Beanie. Beanie. Yeah, beanie. Zim zima. Who got the keys to the baby? Beanie, man. <laughs> but never mind. This is what I'm saying, yeah. Beanie, yeah, yeah, is a is a, is a is a female human being, yeah, yeah, who's 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 I'm on the right track, yeah. So I'm saying, so it's a girl basically, yeah, just yeah, there you go, that's what that's what you Come need on, to I say. Come on, I that old, I know, uh, cool. I know what's what. Uh, this one, yeah, <laughs> this one, um, my slime, it's like saying, it's that's like saying, that's like what my slime, it's yeah, it's like saying, like you're my slime, basically, basically. We're compatriots. We're alliances. We're going to war together. That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yo, my bro. All right, cool. Okay, cool. Come on, bro. You thought I was like, yeah, come on. I know some of these, I'm, man. I'm, okay, you ready, yeah? I'm going to be G-real. <laughs> the silence is mental. I'm going to be G-real. Parad paradise with Coolio. I'm going to be G-real. G-real <laughs> G -real who? Yo, yeah, see what I mean, bro? I don't get these references, bro. Who's G-real? I, I, like, if I say, yo, I'm going to be G-Real. You ever heard of this guy called G-Easy? He used to be a rapper. Might used to be. I've heard of the name. I, I don't know them. I don't know what he's done. So G-Real. Yeah. I'm going to be G-Real, bro. Basically, he's trying to say, I'm going to be real, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. I'm going to keep it so real. Okay, last one. I'll give me got... the hard ones, man. You got this can't bro, be. D d d yo, I'm on my last one, bro. All right, cool. Yeah. You? Who's Yeah? Like, yeah. It's, 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 like it's, I'm chilling with the Yeah. So basically, it's, it's a drunk, right? It's a, it's a hole. Huh? It's a hole. That's what it is, isn't it? No. Yeah. Uh, I'm just chilling with my yacht. A girl? Yeah. Is it yacht? Yeah, yeah. Like so little yachty. Like, 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 yeah, like if my friend's acting up, yeah, I'm like, bro, why are you acting like a yacht for? Like, I'm not like, like, like you're not my that. girl. Like, stop crying because I don't want to like, eat food with you. Like, yeah. Like, that type of thing. What, what song did you used to use then? All right, let me give you one, yeah? Do you know what? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? The, you know what a swami is? A what? When 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 they say, "Oh, my man stepped in the dance with the swami," a girl. No, listen to the context. My man stepped in the. My man stepped in the dance, with, the in the dance with a swami. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. What's a swami? The, my man steps in the dance with a swami. Is he stepped in the dance with his girl? No. Look at listen to the syllables. Yeah. <laughs> a swami. Yeah. What's a swami? A swami. Swami, Tami, Plani. Swami, what's a Swami? Jenny, um, he stepped in a dance with a Swami. A oh, watch, no, no, a let me watch, a watch. No, 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 let me get it this way. Let me get it this way, yeah? I'm gonna tell you what the crowd did. He stepped in a, he stepped in a dance with a Swami and the crowd dispersed. A gun? 
All right then. There we go. All right then. You're struggling okay. first. You're yeah. struggling first. If I didn't hear the, if I didn't hear the background, if you want to know on the front line, bro, info. man said you stepped in the dance with a gun. What's that? Like, what kind of Sw- sentence is that? I gave you nice sentences. No, Swami, any. That's what it is. Isn't right, it? Okay, cool. Next one. I got a word for you. Mm. That we used to say in my day. Go on. We say, bro, that's prank. What does that mean? Oh, that's fire. That's hard. No, not in that context. Uh, that's prank. That's prank. Oh, <gasps> like I'm paranoid. I'm prank. Like, like, could be. Okay, okay. Uh, you're not that it, bad. You're not that bad. What does it mean though? So it could be in that context, or it could be in a sense that raw. The situation's like just messed. Oh, okay. The whole, the, the, this is prank. This is just the whole thing's just mazala. Mm. Mazala. All right. Let me say one more then. Let me say one more. All right. Say less. <laughs> Sailors, mm. like all you young whippersnappers on the sailors, same right, old sailors. Yeah, guys. What the... <laughs> guys, so I'm saying this, yeah. What does it mean? Because when we've been planning this podcast, yeah, he'll say, "Yo, we got the studio booked." I'll say, "Say less," and then he'll put in quotation marks, "Say less," laughing emojis. But what does and I'm it like, mean? What's though? funny about that? It's what literally it what it says: "Say less." Like, like, okay. Like... If I've said, if I've, if I've just said, I've booked the studio. That's just three words, bro. What do you mean, say less? How can I say that any less than I've already had? <laughs> How can I condense that anymore? <laughs> that, that is true. That is true. But what I mean is like, okay, cool. Like, like, ah, oh, hard. Love. Like, yeah. Like, prrr, like, woo. Say less, bro. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you sound like you, you don't really like us young people. Like, I won't lie. When you talk about you young people, let's go into that now. Right, go yeah? on, because go on. this younger generation, all you lot born after the year 2000, you lot are finished. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you how you finished. I'm a 2004 baby, guys. Yeah, you're finished. Is, is, is what I'm saying, yeah? Oh, my gosh. Every other child I see, yeah, is vaping. Why are you lot vaping for? Yeah, no, I agree. There's I a vaping agree. epidemic going on. When you yeah. lot are 40 and 50, you're going to have cornflake bre- uh, 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 lungs. <laughs> yeah? You're not going to be having breakfast out the box. You're going to be having breakfast out your lungs. you got cornflakes yeah, yeah. in your damn lungs. No, yeah? okay, this is one thing, yeah, that I definitely missed out. Not missed out, like, oh, I don't, I don't wish I had it. But like my 2004, yeah, it was just after, two, after like when you were born just after 2004, that's when this stuff started happening. Because my year, no one was doing the disposable vapes or anything. Like in school, you'll go in flipping school in their blazer, they have their phone, their vape and their chewing gum. Like that's the, that's the package now. That's what everyone has. Where it's like, I, that was never a me thing, bro. And then, and then on breaks, bro, even this year, the school I used to go to, yeah, I went there recently and their bathrooms, don't have doors anymore what? because 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 the the kids are going in there to vape so so the, the the main entrance to the bathroom is like just a massive opening now but obviously there's the cubicles but the smoke will come out of the cubicles so the, if a teacher's walking past down the corridor and they see smoke coming out they know someone's vaping in there you know what i'm saying so they're taking all these extra they're just taking doors off breaking walls to make sure that the kids can't vape in school anymore but on this vaping thing yeah I think with your generation and probably the generation just 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 after you as yeah. well, none of you guys have got a backbone. So a lot of you guys care what the next man's thinking. Mm. So this vaping epidemic started when Timothy brought in a thing into school and it just spread like yeah, coronavirus. Yeah, he's the bad man. Everyone wants to be like him. So they're all doing it. And that's like a thing. Um, I know someone who, who, who didn't vape, but then they started chilling with these people and they were like, oh, no, nah, like... Like, come on, it's cool to vape. And then try mine, try mine. They tried it, and then bang, now they do it. Where it's like, that pressure thing never really worked with me. Like, people, like, I don't drink. People always try, like, I don't do drink or smoke, whatever. People have tried to put, like, alcohol to my mouth and stuff like that. And it's like, I don't, I, the peer pressure don't get to me type of thing. But in schools and stuff nowadays, because of social media and stuff, it's like, if you're not cool, you're not valid. Mm, like, mm. like you're, you're not validated. So, and Alandi. so everyone will do anything now. So basically you're saying you you were one of the anomalies because many of your peers were just succumbing and just doing what the yeah, next one's Yeah, one big thing in my, in my place that I used to go to school was uh, balloons. That was the big thing in my. Is that in the canister? Or is that an actual yeah, balloon? The, no, the la- it's the, the the little canisters. Yeah, you know the ones that you, that used to you used to always see on the floor, of the street. Yes, the I used little to see them early. I don't really that. see them that much anymore, but they used to be all over the street. The little grey canisters, yeah, and then, and then you put the balloon on it, and and I'd Does walk that make your voice go high? Is that the next one? Yeah, is it got helium in it or not? 
uh, I don't really know. I never really chilled with those type of people. But I'd be walking around around the corner where there's no cameras at the school and that, and I'd see people with like balloons in their mouth and that. And that's like back then they were the attractive girls, isn't it? Mm. But now I see them walking around. Bro, they look finished. They look like they haven't. <laughs> no, seriously, they look like. My they, lyrics, no, no, I don't see, need to play the phone. No, seriously, bro, they had looked like they haven't eaten since I saw them in secondary school. <laughs> like, bro, it's actually deep, bro. I've been gone for four years. Yo, <laughs> alright, that's why I see them on the Oxfam, Oxfam commercials with the pot belly and that. <laughs> I haven't eaten in weeks, cause. Nah. <laughs> Love it, man. <laughs> but yeah, here's what I'm saying, yeah. Back on the younger generation thing, yeah, because I'm just cussing you lot because you lot are a disgrace. Mm. Here's a next here's a next here's a next issue, yeah. Basically, you lot are too yallish and too and, and, and not enough man. Too yatty. Yeah, too yeah, too beanish. Yeah, I'm a learning. I'm a quick yeah. learner already. Eee. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, what was that? <laughs> that was so voice. Yeah. But put it put it this way, yeah. If Putin said right right now today oh I'm on smoke, yeah. Yeah. This this young generation of dunnies, these duns here, uh-huh. they 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 ain't manly enough to pick up the swami. You know what? Swami I ain't is, going right? to yo. If you're about to say yeah, that we're ussy because we ain't going to war, you're mad, bro. You ain't going to war. I'm not going to war, but I'm capable of doing it. You man, you you man with your long fingernails and that, and saying oh oh, oh puffing vape and that. You man ain't going to know back off him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you man who care about Fortnite and that, you ain't going back off him. I'll uh, at least go. Uh, 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 I wouldn't shoot a bullet, but I'll yeah. go. Right. And just, just, just... Fairs, fairs. You know what I'm saying? Fairs. What age did you get your first phone? My first phone? Boy, I didn't get my first phone until I was about 14, bro. First, now now I'm seeing phone kids. phone, point blank. Like, not touch first, first phone, first point phone. blank. I can tell you what my first phone was as well. Go on. It was a Samsung W8. No, it was a Samsung W580i Shake Walkman phone. Now, for all my old fans, you know that phone was hard back in 05, 06. Yeah? That was a serious phone. I feel do, so young. Do you know, have you ever seen that phone before? No. You know what it looks like? No. It's like this. It's like a brick, here, yeah? And the top know. slides up, yeah? You literally hold a button and you shake it, physically shake it to change the song. That was hard. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That was hard. That's crazy. You were in the struggle, man. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? <laughs> what do you mean? Bro, when that phone first came out, that was peers, cuz. And I was doing paper round back then, bro. You know how long to say what to get I, that phone? I, I, I did paper round as well. I can't Ooh. lie. I did paper round. This is why I'm different. Yeah, no one, different. no one was doing paper round when I was doing paper round, bro. Because everyone was just on their phones. Yeah, I was you waking up different. six a.m. doing my paper round, then having shower, then going to school. I rate that. You're, you're getting the my anomaly. twenty pound a week. You're the anomaly. I'm telling you, bro. So the generation needs to follow you. That, still. That's why I'm here. Yeah, because yeah. you're the anomaly. Yeah, you're the anomaly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But here's what I'm saying, though. Yeah, I got my first phone though. When so I got, <laughs> I got a, I got like a, a button phone. Yeah. When I was like year six. What's year six? 12? Uh, yeah, ish. 11. Uh? Yeah, 11, 12 ish. I got like, you know, it was like a, it was like a Tesco phone. Mm. Um, but it was like, you know, when you have to press the button like three times to get C. Oh, where well you have to press. So basically it's one of the snakes and ladders phones. Basically. Yes, yes. It had yeah, snakes and come on. on little Nokia, yeah. Nokia and then team. when I hit year seven, I got a Samsung, which was actually a touchscreen phone. See, you uh, man were advanced but compared, no, to, yeah. compared to my childhood, <laughs> but, man. I, I, wow. I, but then I got, and then I got social media like towards the end of year eight. Like I got Snapchat and Instagram. This is the issue, yeah? With, yeah. Your, with the younger generation. You lot are being exposed too quick. Yeah, no, no, no. So basically, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, yeah, I agree. I'm getting vexed now. I'm yeah. agreeing. Wait, 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 hold on. You lot are missing out on, on life steps before mm. you're reaching the next step. So your adolescent development should have steps where you learn how to engage with human beings where you learn how to respect the people in your community, where you learn how to carry out good work ethic, yeah? I work for a telecoms company. Lost his whole soul. I work for for a telecoms company, yeah? And I go around installing things and that, yeah? And I go to yards and I see kids with the biggest iPhone 14 and that. And and the man's five years old. Big man, what what job are you doing at five years old to get the latest iPhone 14, big man? It's the parents, cause... So that leads me into the next bit, yeah? The parents of this day and age, you lot are tramps. You've let down society, bro. You've let your kids take over. I've seen, I've gone to yards, yeah? On my job and that, yeah? Saying, oh, my, my internet's down and that, yeah? So I say, yeah, let me come fix it and tramps that, yeah? Tramps is crazy. And I've seen the parents say, oh, thank you, you've come. My kids, my kids got, had me on the ropes. Oh, no, they haven't, that, had, they that, haven't had the internet bro, for two weeks. Nah, that's it's been serious, hell. bro. That's so serious, fam. You've never had the house go down when there's three kids in the house, bro. It no, goes but off. 
People have to talk to each other. Andy, I'm talking to you because you ain't got no backbone, yeah? These kids, these three kids that he's talking about, yeah? They don't pay council tax. They don't pay mortgage. They don't pay rent, nothing, yeah? The liquid internet's going down and they've got you on ropes, fam. They've got you in the kitchen. You can't come out the kitchen. Yeah, you're, you're on house arrest because of these little youths. Yeah? Where's the parenting these days, big man? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. And um, another thing as well, yeah? I'll let you talk in a minute. Another thing as well, yeah? I think they need to bring back beatings, cuz. Oh my gosh, it's like you just read my mind. That's because when I was, was a youth, yeah, I used to get licked down properly. Okay, cool. But I was a good citizen though. So I, I only got I only got licked down in the extreme cases. <laughs> Let me give you the case. Oh, no, I, I, I am the same. I have my family. I'm the one that got beat. Yeah. And I'm the probably, you know, I'm well behaved. You know what I'm but saying? all my siblings got beat though. But let me give you the example. One time where I got beat, yeah. One time. This is <laughs> so one time, yeah, it was like midnight, and I had a friend who lived on my road. And what I did is I snuck, I snuck him into my house mm. when my mum was asleep, and we were playing like pl pl PlayStation Two. Yeah, yeah. You ever seen a PlayStation Two? <laughs> I've seen pictures. What? You ain't seen the real one? No, bro. Really? My first. Bro, my what about Dreamcast? You know, you ever heard of Dreamcast? No, my first console was a uh, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. Advanced. You know what? Have you ever heard of Dreamcast? No, I've actually never even heard of that. What about what about um, Game Boy? I've I've seen pictures of those. That's the one that's that you played. The that's the one that you played the Pokemon on, isn't it? That's mad. But yeah, anyway, I sneaked him in to play <laughs> PS2, yeah, Pro Evolution Soccer Five or some mad thing, yeah. Yeah. And the floor, we had a floor that was like um, it was polished. Mm. So what he done this this handicap? He was in socks and he slipped on the floor, yeah, <laughs> and he made a loud bang. And yeah. then my mum came down and realised that, Rob, we were on the midnight mazzalina and obviously I should be, I should be asleep because yeah. I got school the next day. Yeah. And then she brought out um, an iron, a iron coat hanger, metal coat hanger. Nah. And she lit me in the back. But the thing is though, back in those days, I think from my perspective anyway, from people like I've seen around me, how they were with their parents, I think there was more respect for elders no, parents seriously, seriously. and just the whole ethos of that kind of culture 20, 25 years ago compared to now. Mm. Because when my parents hit me, I would never dare, dare hit them back. Oh, but you never dare like, do that, son. Bro, I had this, um, like, I've heard from family friends and stuff that's got back to that. I've heard that's got back to my family. They've told me, yeah, that their kids, like, like, mum was thankful for how we are because obviously we were raised properly, yeah. Mm. But with, with her friends and stuff, it's like, she'll tell me that this mom had an argument with her kid, that like has slapped the kid, and then the kid squared up in the face, and then they've started, like the two people are fighting, like the kid and the mom, and it's like, that it should have, like, bro, I would have never hit my mom, bro. Because it's just like, it, it's like, it's just, there's just boundaries, bro. It's mm. like, it's something that you would never, ever, ever do. It's and crazy people, on the But now, bro, people, even, even with like a, what's it called? If your mom hits you, yeah, all these kids nowadays are like, I'll call, I'll, I'll, call, I'll call social services. And they do, fam. And they come. Here's what I'll do, yeah? If my kid done that to me, yeah? Here's what I'll do. When social services come and tell me, Mr. Francis, we've had a report from Junior Francis that you hit him. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is I'll say, son, get your suitcase. Yeah, take him. There you go. Yeah? Your expenses are not my expenses anymore. I'm not paying for your diapers. You're not getting food off me. You're on the street, son. Exactly. Simple as that. And when he realizes life ain't good out there, because I'm giving you the best rice and peas. That, yeah? That's what they don't the realize, one out on the road ain't good. That's They'll what be they coming back. But at the same time, I would be the kind of parent that I'd be instilling. Basically, you gotta start this thing from young. If you allow a kid to reach 10 years old, they're already stuck in their ways. You realize that? Mm. Whatever tendencies they have by 10 years old, they ain't coming out of it. So if you haven't taught them what they need to be taught by the time they reach 10, 11, 12, you're finished. So if you're trying to be a good parent now when the kid's already 18, yeah. you've, you've, you've ruined the thing. So yeah. you have to start this thing from young. And I think a lot of parents in this day and age, because there's a lot of societal pressures and external, basically their souls being dragged from every direction, yeah? Pressure yeah. at work, pressure on the landing, mm -hmm. yeah? Pressure in front of them, pressure on TV, pressure everywhere else. They're forgetting how to be parents. They're allowing the school to teach them. They're allowing everything else to teach the kids other than the parents. Now, I think great things start from home. And I think there's a lot of broken homes as well. We've got to put that into consideration. Yeah, yeah of course. But you parents, you lot, you lot are letdowns, fam. I'll be nah, honest. Not everyone, bro. Not everyone. Like... I'm just generalizing, it Because yeah, I can't, you, I can't pick are. out who's good and who's bad. Yeah, so I'm saying course. you're all bad. And if, it, if the shoe don't fit, don't wear the shoe, yeah? yeah. But if it fits... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it? 
Take him in, take him in. But yeah, yeah, what was you gonna like, say though, big man? No, I was gonna say just about the whole social services thing. Is like the people they they literally because they see all this stuff on TikTok now and Instagram. Yeah, so like, I'm gonna call social services. I'm gonna call the police. They actually just think it's normal, and and they don't see their mom as their mom. They see their mom as just another person. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it's not like the respect's not there anymore, and it definitely is because of social media, bro. So I'm telling you, like, so like bro, that. like uh, I think social media is like desensitizing kids' brains. It is, it is, it is. Because it's like things that when I was younger that I thought were crazy, people just do it like it's normal. Like, 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 it's just, it, they just think every, it's all normal, bro, to go like, bro, bro, we see, we see like, m- like killings on social media nowadays, bro. And it's just and normal. It's like, I speaking of that, I don't know if you was old enough to re- remember, yeah? But back in like 2008, 2009, when Blackberry first came out, yeah? There was kids that used to go around, yeah? And do slaps. Like find yeah. an innocent you and just slap him. Do you, remember, do, you, do, you, do you You might not be young enough. The audience might know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So man them on Blackberries used to find like the weakest you who wouldn't fight back, yeah? <laughs> and they'll get a girl to, yeah. to back him in a corner and give him the dirtiest slap. And then I would go around everyone's phone. Because I remember them days there. Bro. That was mud. Now I think that was the start of the, of the Mazzalina, of the madness. Yeah. This I, social media thing turned people corrupt. I can't like in my school we were fighting over like fidget spinners. Fidget spinners and like, you, what's a fidget spinner? Oh, is that know, a Beyblade? Bro, you, you know, know what a fidget spinner is, bro. You know that the stuff. Is that the a one, no, 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 the ones that you hold and you just <laughs> and it spin out. Yo, you just know what a fidget spinner is, bro. No, I don't know. You, so what you hold it and you just spin it. You've seen them, bro. They nah, used to go bro. viral, bro. Like nah, all the. Nah, nah. What, I, I don't know. I don't know what they are. Okay, all right. You're, you're, Do you know what a Beyblade is? Huh? Did you ever use a Beyblade? <laughs> I've heard of a Beyblade. You ever seen I've one? never seen a Beyblade. See what I'm saying? You never, you never, you never, you never linked up with your boys. One of them's got the plastic Beyblade arena, and you, you come with your one. You look at metal one, and you ring it until nah. you, till you fling him out the arena. Nah, yeah, nah. yeah. You never played Beyblade. Nah. <laughs> yo, yo, you've missed out, bro. <laughs> when I used to go out with my boys, we used to play manhunt. Manhunt. And that was so basically there was this estate. It was like a good estate, like it was a new build, yeah. So it wasn't the trenches, yeah. And oh, was, Kensington and that. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> so yeah. we'd go there, yeah. And then um, he, but one of our boys lived there, so it wasn't like we were just going to some random area. Yeah? So he did come out, and then boom, we'd pick the two people who were it, yeah. And then those two people are it, and if you get caught, you get like banged, don't it? That's what we did. What's oh, so it called? Manhunt. Manhunt, yeah. So it's like tag, but you get beat up if you get caught. See, your generation's missed. How you not know about <laughs> Beyblades, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, no. What about you, so, Gil? Wait, for, so you know what, about wait, so what I've realised it, yeah. Do you know about you, Gil, big man? <laughs> yeah, I've heard of you, Gil. You've never seen that neither? <laughs> oh my days. That's like Pokemon, isn't it? Have you seen Pokemon? Yeah. So you've seen Pokemon cards in the flesh? Yeah, I've got Pokemon cards. You've got Charmander in that? Yeah. Onyx and that, the gold Charizard, silver plate card yeah, in that, Charizard in that, Raikachu in that, and I've got, and I've got, uh, and so I've got you, I watched the show as well, yeah. So have you never, how have you, how have you never seen Yu-Gi-Oh cards then, big man? Nah, I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh has never been as popular as Pokemon, no. But what about Beyblade? How you never nah, run Beyblade, off a of Beyblade on your enemy, nah, bro? Nah, Beyblade was definitely before my time. <laughs> I won't even lie. Nah, Beyblades. Oh yeah, when you born? Two thousand and four. Four, yeah. Yeah, that's probably yeah pre two thousands. Yeah, the <laughs> ninety two. Yeah, probably two thousands. Yo, I can't. Like, I thought I was getting old until today's episode. I, won't I even can't believe you've never you, seen a Beyblade in the flesh. Nah, serious. I thought. And I was that getting sound old. where it goes <laughs> when it's going. <laughs> oh, you know, you know the sound. You know when you get when you ring off a good clean. <laughs> Yeah, and you get that night that sound that and you're going towards your enemy. Yeah, especially if you've got a metal Beyblade and he's got a plastic one, you know he's gonna get finished. Yeah, you hear the and you lick him out the I, arena. I can't lie, I think, bro. What, wait, wait, I'm bringing back memories because you know what used to happen. <laughs> I'll try yeah? to interrupt this, bro. You know what used to happen if you lick him out the arena. You're taking his Beyblade and the other ones that he's come to to the arena with, bro. Oh, you're taking it home. You're taking it home, bro. Mm. Trust me, because there used to be a guy in, in the ends. Yeah, uh, his name's Amon. I won't say his second name. Yeah. And he used to be, his house was the main arena for the Beyblade tournaments, bro. Yeah. So I've only ever won once, it because I didn't really have the money to buy all the mad Beyblades and that, yeah? But when we used to go there, he used to have an orange one. Yeah, I used to have an arena as well, but we used to use his one, yeah? And when I used to ring off my thing, yeah? <laughs> High hopes, bro. Yeah. And we just hear, bro, it was, it was, bro, you missed out on life bro, what, there, bro. bro. What, something like that that I did, we used to play Pokemon in the playground in primary school. Yeah. And if you get beat in a Pokemon battle, then you take their cards. You take one, like the card that they lost. Yeah, standards yeah. still, yeah, you take the um, cards, yeah. But another thing that I did in the playground at primary school is we used to do rap battles. Rap battles? Psh, used to go off. I was champion. 
I was championing him. Mate, okay, uh, come, hey, come. Drop, drop two lyrics. No, 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 no. Drop yo, two lyrics, big man. Bro, bro. Like, the rap yo, battle starts now. I drop remember, two lyrics, bro. Yo, I remember one time. Now, this shows how effed up kids are, yeah? How did I even know what so this was? you don't want to rap battle. You how, did I even, how did I even know what this was, yeah? There was a wet floor sign, yeah? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wet floor sign like your mom. But how did I know what that meant? I was in year six, fam. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I'm really deep in it. How did I know what that was? Wet floor sounds like your mom. Yeah, that wet, that wet floor, that wet floor, no, wait, wait, no, wait, wait. That floor sounds like your mom. It's wet. Ha. And then, ah! And the it went off, crazy. bro. I was going crazy. People picking me up. Ah! Oh, as the winner, yeah? Yeah, I killed him. Bow, on the floor, dead, off. Boy, remember that? What? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying this is, you're saying you're the king of the hill for the rap battles, yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Man. Yeah, come on, bust a freestyle. Oh, no, you go first, you go first then. You go All right, first. after Dome, yeah? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'm the king of the hill. Yeah. But the tea don't spill. Aye. When I tell the truth, everyone listens because they want to be in the room for the thrill. Okay. Now this is just off the dome, because my head is shaped like a bill. Okay, cool. Everybody knows that Funny Francis has got dirty toes. Yeah. Look at them feet. You're flipping neek. Take <laughs> yeah, them glasses hard. off. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. <laughs> I don't know. What's okay. <laughs> yo, that was hard, though. That was hard. That was hard. Yo, are you in that? Are you in that? Uh, yeah, I won that. Innit? Come on, bro. But yeah, here's what I'm saying, though. Yeah. I never messed up thing that I did in secondary school. Yeah. We went on a trip to Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah. Went crazy, yeah. I never went crazy. Good, good kid, yeah. Good kid, yeah. Good kid. So, good so kid. we're in year nine. So that's how old sort of thing. Like fifteen, yeah. You're not fifteen in year nine, you yes, crackhead. Yes, you are. Because I thought you said before year eleven is sixteen. Yeah. So wait, how you no, fifteen no, no, in year no, nine? Wait, wait, yeah, no, yeah, what? Year nine's thirteen, bro. Uh, uh, or so 14 thirteen or something. Bro. Thirteen, fourteen, whatever. Yeah. Okay, cool. So. We're going to Disneyland, yeah? Go to Disneyland, there's the boys in the girls' rooms, yeah? A mm. lot of the boys are sneaking into the girls' rooms. To do the... Mm. Exactly. And that would get back to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. The Epstein so challenges I'm not about all that, yeah. but they're getting glog and going crazy in Disneyland. We're meant to be there to see Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and she's seeing and Mickey. Right, and <laughs> That's cool, that's cool. It was. They went to see Mickey, but they're seeing Mickey, Mickey. Yeah. No, but this is what I'm saying. I don't know, yeah, if uh, if my generation now is is more, is more like if they lose their, their card earlier or if they lose it later than your generation. Because, because, do you get what I'm saying? You know what it is on that one there, yeah? I think I ain't got no specific data on that, but I believe, yeah, throughout the history of time, females were losing their V all over the place anyway. Men, women, they're all doing the maza. But I think there's specific things to this generation, this 21st century here, yeah, mm. that haven't been seen in no other times. Do you, do you, if you picture this, yeah, back in ancient Rome, Constantinople and that, do you think Julius Caesar's son could box him up on a mad team? Think about it, though. Julius Caesar's out there fighting the Gauls and that, yeah? yeah. He's, he's, he's taking on the Persian Empire, yeah? yeah? You think his son could tell you, oh, nah, I'm not doing my homework and t- call social services on Julius Caesar? No, obviously not. Obviously not. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, obviously people have lost, like, because so, nowadays it's so, like, like everyone's lost their, their hardness because the kids the kids can blackmail them now, bro. It's that simple. It's as simple as that. It's, I'll call social services and you're sort of in a headlock with it because no one wants social services at their house, bro. I'll bring them to my house. I'll send them the postcode before he even rings. I'll say, you come to my house. You can <laughs> sit down, have a drink, have some tea and coffee with me, yeah? And we talk we talk about this because my son ain't ringing no so He can ring him, but he knows where he's going after he rings already. <laughs> he ain't going to social service. He's going straight back to Kingston Town. That's where he's going. <laughs> with some grandmother beatings in his house. Fair ass. play, bro. That's fair. But yeah, what though? What's, yeah. What, what do you believe your future... What, what do you believe the future of your generation is going to be? Because obviously... You guys aren't going to stay 18 and 19 forever. You're soon going to be the next 30, the next 40, the next 50 year olds. What's your vision of them? Like, let's put it this way. How do you guys vision the older generation now? What, you? Okay, yeah, me. How do you vision me? Yo, it's not even a part, bro. I'm just asking. You (laughs) are. do 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 you see people of our age, like much older than you, as something you want to emulate? Or do you think you guys are coming with new flavor, things that... Uh, to be as, to be aspired to. Uh, um, I, I think I think that 
the people who are immature doing all the stuff that they're doing now are gonna it's gonna hit them like it's gonna hit them in a few years and they're gonna be like what was i doing like mm, why was i chugging mm. vape why was i doing this why did i do this at this age i think it's gonna hit them i don't i don't think like but of course there's gonna be a lot there's gonna be people who are still moving like a nitty in 10 years yeah mm. like but I think for quite a few people, it's going to hit them and they're going to be like, I really wasted my life type of thing. But, you know, I, I think, you know what it is, yeah? I think the generation, like, like the way you're saying that there was a time before you had phones, yeah? That's gone. That's it. Like, you, but, you, you, you look all the last, yeah? Like, that will never happen again. There will never be a generation that had time before the internet, that had time before phones because I was the last... I, they, yeah, you were I, the I last of the day. There, there was yeah. like there was like eleven years of my life that I didn't have internet and phone. <laughs> the last of them. And then yeah. and then bang, that's it now. It's here and it's here to stay. And everyone's gonna have it now. So the next generation after this generation, if we're bad, imagine how bad they're gonna be, bro. So pre this now, yeah. Put put yourself in the shoes of a parent because I imagine sooner or later you're gonna have kids. Yeah, soon, bro. I need. <laughs> So I need, you're to right, get, need to get married, have a kid, start a family. Okay, okay. If you're on Netflix, you're on Netflix. You know yeah? on. How would you operate as a 21st century parent? What are you going to do to try and not huh? shelter, not shield, but kind, kind of carve right, cool. the trajectory of the mother that your kids are inevitably right, going to be I, on by what I feel like saying. what you want, I feel like, like what you would say is you're going to say... I, I ask you to give my wait, answer. Wait, 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 wait. Is it, what I feel like you're going to say is no phone, no social media until they're of a certain age, yeah? But... You can't do that because you're stuck between a rock and a hard, hard place, like you said, yeah? <laughs> because because everyone in school has a phone and if you don't have a phone, you're not cool, you're not rated. If you don't have uh, like a thousand followers on Instagram, if you don't get a hundred likes on every post, yeah, you're not rated. So like nowadays, so it's like, bro, if you want your kid to get bullied, that's fine. But if you don't want your kid to get bullied, they have to have a phone, I won't lie. They have to be cool. Because when someone said, you'll watch your snap, and they're like, oh, nah, here's my phone number. Here's my house number. They're going to get mocked. All right. My response to that is, yeah. If your child is um, feeling that kind of social anxiety, then that means you haven't taught your child to be an independent, free thinking being. So my child. Wait, 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 So basically in that scenario there where you're talking about, basically you're talking about alienation, isn't it? You're yeah. talking about Area 51, bare alienation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feeling left, feeling left out and that, yeah? So for me, if I make my child believe that I'm really and truly the only friend they need in life at this moment in time, mm. while they're growing up, while other kids are laughing at them, yeah? Then it doesn't matter if kids are asking them for their snap and he ain't even got a phone capable of Snapchat. Because I would have, I would have reared the child in a way, basically, I would have reared the child as a carbon copy of me don't give a F, yeah? yeah? Top bad man, yeah? And so independent and free thinking that what other people's opinions d d think of think of me, it don't matter. So if I'm able to rear the child to that level of intellectual freedom, shall we say, mm. then the fact that they haven't got the things that the other kids have got wouldn't matter to them. And if it does matter to them, I'd want to have an avenue open where I believe the kids can come to me and say, right, you know, I'm at school and everyone's got the latest iPhone 15. And I ain't got one, and and, and they take they're making it taking the mick out of me, and then I would say, "Have you got a job, big man?" Then he would say, "No." Then I would say, "Go do your homework." But you're then gonna, you'll be able but, to get a job. But you're gonna be big, big, funny Francis in a big mansion, yeah. Just with, because with I'm your, a millionaire, the kid's not a millionaire. With your Porsche outside, yeah. This is the problem. And you're trying to tell you're trying to tell Timmy, who's going to private school, yeah, that he can't <laughs> have a that school. he can't have a flipping iPhone 15, yeah. Well, it's probably gonna be iPhone 55, yeah. Yeah, in about 30 years, yeah. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're 30 right. years, you know. Bro, you're trying to have a kid when you're 60. <laughs> bro, Hugh Hefner was mashing them down the day before he died, yeah. He got a teen <laughs> pregnant, cause did you know that? The day before he collapsed, he clotted down the thing and got her pregnant, bro. Hugh Hefner's about 96 and plus 100 years old. Bro, you need to get to work, I'll be real. Bro. <laughs> get like, to work. Like, it's, it's getting concerning, fam. But here's what I'm saying, though. On a level, though, in all seriousness, though, it's all how it's all about how you grow the child, isn't it? If you grow the child with the capability to really free think and be an independent character, then all these social expectations and pressures will mean less. They will still have meaning because everything has some kind of meaning, but it depends how you 
take on the meaning? Is it does it have a lot of meaning to you or little meaning? You know what I'm saying? And I want to grow the child to not really care about these. We call it vanity, mm. you know, things that aren't really that important, you know. So, in 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 ten years time, the iPhone 15 that that kid was mocking my kid about, yeah, is gonna be insignificant because I'd hope my kids further in life than the iPhone 15, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, cause on a different one now, yeah. Mm. The violence amongst you lot. Yeah. Eighteen year olds killing sixteen year olds, killing ten year olds, doing the maza. Yeah. Now in my generation and generations older than me, there's violence, of course, there's always been violence since the start of time, yeah. But it seems like you young duns, you know how many young duns I see I'm driving, yeah? And you man just break the red light for no reason. Why 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 are you doing that big man? Yo, I don't yo, I don't drive. I, don't I know, know why you you're don't, but your people's them do. Because right, right, well, there's a lot right, of 18, right, cool. 20 year olds just bus on road. They're just going breaking the red light. And break the red doing light. 60s and 30s. Right, but that, that, okay, cool. So you want me to you want me to play like them, yeah? Okay. So What's what's mm. their defense? What's your defense? So that all right, they've seen amber. They think mm. I can get there before the red. Oh yeah. They've already passed the point of stopping. Put up the red hurdle, yeah. Yeah, so, they've just gone through it, yeah. Yeah, it's wrong. They should have been slowing down gradually as they got to the traffic light, as my instructor says, shout out Neil. Um, but as he's getting, as he gets to the red light, he should be slowing down. But he's like, nah, I'm not stopping. And just as the amber switched to the red, it looks like he's gone through the red. But he, you know what I'm saying? And you know another thing it. as well? A lot of you lot are losing your lives through this stupidness on the road, man. Oh, no, facts. That's a fact, bro. There's where I work, there are these two kids that literally everybody knew, yeah, that cr that crashed uh, going around the roundabout and they went into a tree, yeah? And, like, bro, people still go to that, like, to that, like, memorial. Like, I see them every day, yeah? People go into it. And I know just the roundabout, they were driving mad well. fast. Yeah, it's the one in ends, isn't it? They were just going fast. Walsgrave, innit? Walsgrave, yeah, innit? Just going fast. And stupid. That's why when I get my driver's license, I won't be doing that. I like being a safe driver. <laughs> Bro, I was driving down this road and my instructor told me off because he's like, you know, you're driving at the same speed you should be driving if there was a school here, which is 20. So I was going 20 down to 40, yeah. But obviously now I was picked up the speed. You know? Right, even I don't do that. That's yeah. a bit extreme. No, no, but, that was, that was but, extreme. I just started driving. Come on, this was last year. Yeah, yeah, even I don't do that. But yeah, you're... you're, you're Big man Neil, he's got a point. Yeah, he's got a point. Big man Neil, bro. <laughs> Big man Neil. So let me put it this way. Yeah, let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah. out of your genera out of your young generation, yeah, do you believe there's any leaders amongst your pool of peers? Mm -hmm. Do you do you look at any of your peers and say, "Raw, this person's a charismatic individual. This person's someone I could look to and say, "Raw, if I was going into war, not like you would, but if I was going into war." I would follow this guy. As in, is there any charismatic leaders in your generation? But do you mean like like John from down the road, or do you mean like celebrities, Just, or like in general, any any pool of 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 correlation that you want to look into, either in your in your in your in your like peer group personally, or people of your age that are of a higher stature, like doing nah. things, big things, whatever. Nah. Is there anyone you would say that raw? I'd look to this guy. He's like a leader of the people. Nah, not really. Why uh, is that though? I Think. Lie. Why is that? The only, the only, like, the only person I'd ever say I look up to are my parents. I would never say I look up to any next person. I won't lie. Like, why have you got someone that you used to look up to, or? Yeah, in my generation, there's bare people that were Who? putting in smoke. Who? Even in my inner circle, like, like people of my age age range, putting in hard work, not, 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 not doing the the mazzalina. So the, yeah, I would say there's quite a few people. But obviously, we're from a generation where the work ethic was different. Mm. Born in the 90s, late 80s, early 90s, and that the thing was different, cause mm. and the parenting was different as well. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah. Let me put it this way. Let me ask you this question, yeah. What do you think are the determining factors as to how a child turns out? Is it parenting? Is it the government? Is it societal issues? Is it the technology? Is it mental health even? Because there's a lot mm. of fraggles out here, bro. So what the, what do you think is the like the the underwhelming determining factor? What of how they turn out? Of how they turn out, bro. I think it's I think it's raising them in a loving way, yeah, but not getting carried away with giving them everything that they want. I feel like they I have to that. like I there has that. to be you have to put in in a way of they have to earn these things, and it's like okay, cool. If you do these five things, then you can get this, and then and then you keep doing those things. So okay, cool. You do. The washing, dishwasher, hoover, this, and you get five pound if you do all of that, yeah. Mm. And then you keep doing that until you've earned enough money for whatever you want to buy. So I feel like that gives you a sense of of work ethic, and that's when you get your job. So I was doing that, then I got a paper round, 
And I got a job at a bar. And now I got a job at a restaurant. So really and truly, you shouldn't be 19. You should be like 35. Bro, I swear, I actually have the mindset. Because you've gone from, you're not from the generation, but you you talk like the generation. Because that's what I was doing when I was a kid. Paper round, had to save up to buy my first phone. Bro, because it's not fun having no money, I'll be real. Trust me. You know what I used to do as well? When I was at school, shout out all my duns at Barzil School, yeah? Who used to buy off me? You lot lot used to know. (laughs) You used to be a seller. How did you know, used bro? Used to be a seller. I used to sell sweets, chocolates. Look, here's here's what I used to do. I used to do yeah. meal deal, yeah? I used to do, yeah? One can, yeah? One can, a chocolate and a crisps. Yeah? Two pound. Yo. And that's before, why, it, that yo, was before inflation, No bro. one in my school did that, yeah? But that is such a smart idea. Before inflation. And then guess what? The market got competitive because I had this guy called Chris <laughs> Pink, yeah? That's his legal name as well. He came with the Shout energy out drinks. Chris, yeah? He came with the energy drinks and flew me out the market, oh, bro. Oh, yeah. Because everyone don't really want chocolate and, and sweets all the time. Sometimes they just want a little, little drinks at, yeah. at, at, at lunchtime in the summer and that. Yeah. So they went to him and they stole all my customers. So, I, so this is what I did because I'm a businessman. I bought the students. I went to the teachers now. So I had Miss Jackson, who always used to buy Mars bars off me, 50p, yeah? Because I realized I need, I need a new avenue in the market. So when I was a kid, and a lot of kids like me, yeah. yeah, they were innovators, bro. They fought outside the box. Because I think when you haven't got technology and other things distracting you, you can operate on a higher level, cuz. Mm, so mm. when they want phones when I was at school, I was thinking, yo, how am I gonna be making money, bro? Yeah. I'm selling Snickers, I'm selling Twix. I'm doing two for ones, me or deals, cause yeah. I'm going to that teacher, teacher in the staff staff room, and say, "Yo, I, I, I ain't forgot that you owe me peas, you know, Miss Jackson. I want my fifty p for that Mars bar you took yesterday. You see me? It ain't no joke thing." And I remember, I remember, yeah. I will tell you my best days. I remember, yeah. yeah. I remember my best days, yeah. Once, cause I used to, you know, you know, you know them them plastic like um them little uh, little zip bag things that you put like paper in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like file paper, yeah, files. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One day I came home and I made forty five pounds. From what? From selling, from the two for one deals. And wow. I made wow. 41 pounds. Bro, I'm telling you, the sellers used to earn bank back in school, bro. Like, I, I tried it. Got robbed. <laughs> 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 what was he selling? What was he selling? Uh, donuts. Uh, yeah, it was donuts? Pretty, yeah, so I tried how to sell much, How much for one donut? Huh? How much were you selling for one donut? Like 30p. And how much were you buying them for? Huh? Like, uh-huh. no, I was making profit. Don't worry. I, I, well, I would have made profit if I didn't get didn't robbed. Didn't get robbed? Yeah. Day one, got robbed, charged it. Charged, what does charge it mean again? Charged it. I told you. Oh, you, I found, told you, it. Yes, you found, found it. Yes, you found it. Yes, I'm no, cracking it was, on. Yeah, some older came. Like I was in like year eight. Yeah, some like because all my I was chilling with the bad boys at the time. Yeah, before and your before, yeah, I, before I, the I transformation. Yeah. The, 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 my, the people I'm, I'm cool with now. Uh, I was chilling with the bad boys. They were all selling and that. Yeah, but they're actual bad boys. Like they were raised that way. I, I, I'm not built like that. Yeah. So so if someone tried to rob them, what? What is it? I'll get my brother. Do you get me? Yeah. I, I, I'm not like that. They robbed me. Feek. They ran past me. Bang. I'm like, uh, uh, what flavor donuts did they rub off you though? I had custard jam. Both. In both, one in each hand. Bosh. Gone. What as that at Tesco Griggs or what? Uh, co-op. What the premium thing? Co-op, Opa, bro. Jesus, I Yo. feel your pain, cause. Bro. But why? You, this them. is the thing though. Your generation ain't smart. Why are you buying co-op co-op uh, donuts with about one pound fifty? You need to be getting the reduced yellow label, yeah, reduced for one pound to to ten p, and yeah. then making your 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 real pun up, bro. No, but these ones were cheap. I remember that's why I, I bought the deal them. On that's them, why yeah. I bought them. Yeah, I okay. bought them. These ones were okay. cheap, and obviously I would have made profit. <laughs> I got robbed. <laughs> if I have to say it one more time, I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was crazy. So, I'm yeah, just man. bringing back thoughts, isn't it? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, cool. So I want to ask you then, yeah. Mm. To sort the problem, to sort the issues that your generation's facing, what needs to take place? That Give me your top three that's a big boy remedies question. to this situation because it is a situation. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people won't wanna won't wanna admit it. Yeah, but yeah. I see these young people as a plague to society. Right. So the vapes, they ain't doing nothing good from what vapes, I can see. The disposable vapes. There needs to be more measures on who's buying it. Do you get what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. bro. Literally 15 year olds can go in a shop and buy a disposable vape. Like the boss man are gonna deny it if the police ask, but I've seen it happen, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there needs to be measures on people buying those, you need to show their ID, whatever. And if people get and and if police officers or whoever sees kids with them, they need to find out who sold them that and they need to go chat to them. Yeah, because the vapes they're so easily accessible, it's crazy, yeah. And then uh what, what So that's one. About? So then the violence, the knives. Idris Elba was trying to do his thing, trying to get them banned and stuff. But it's like, bro, I don't really know what can happen with that, yeah? Because, yeah, the zombie knives, yeah? 
don't need them. They can get banned. But, but people will just start using kitchen knives. And mm. it's like, I don't know how you're going to ban that because if you want to ban knives and we don't have chopped up stuff anymore, how are we going to chop our stuff up? Mm. You get what I'm saying? And bro, if people flipping ban knives, they'll use forks. <laughs> yeah, people imagine are, people are with a taps, fork. bro. Let's be realistic. You're right, you're right, you're right. Bro, you're right. You're right. It's mad. Well, some of these people forks are crazy. And then if they ban forks, they'll sharpen the end of their spoons and it will get mad. Yeah, that's what you do in prisons too. Yeah, I know. Um, so, that, so, was, so, 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 so you're saying curve the, curve the vape epidemic. The vapes need, yeah, need Better regulation on the ZKs, the zombie killers, the yeah, big yeah. sawn off yeah, shotgun Adrian knives. I'm trying to get them banned yeah. right now. So, what's your third thing for changing the, the, the trajectory of your generation? It's the parenting, isn't it? That was, that's really what we have to touch on that. I bet. And, what, and what do the parents need to do, big man? You like listen carefully to this yet? They need, I don't know, bro. They need to. Okay, cool. You've had a very strong opinion on the parent thing. Yeah, I've tapped in here and there, so I feel like you should finish the episode off with that. All right, all you, all you parents, yeah. I believe fifty percent of this problem is down to you. Yeah, I'll be honest. This is how strongly I'm saying. Fifty percent of this problem with this young generation is down to you guys. Yeah. Now I realize. It's not always a dual household. It's not always going to have the, the father there or the mother there. But whoever's there, you need to take ownership. Think of this as you. Think of it as, 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 as you failing in life, yeah? If your kid fails, you're a failure. When you walk down the street, say, oh, that's, that's thingy thingies, mum. Oh, he's in prison, isn't he? Oh, he's just gallivanting, ain't doing nothing with his life. Yeah. Do, do you have the self-confidence to, to, raise, to raise a waste of space? You need to have full involvement in, 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 in your kid's life, yeah? This means going above and beyond. Now, my mother used to turn up in ambiguous places because she knew I was there doing the mad thing. And she'd turn up and mash me down and take me home and resurrect the inner goodness in me because now I'm a good standing citizen. Some of you parents are scared of your kids. Who can be scared of a little six-year-old? Because no, these little, car, these yeah. little terrorists, terrorists, little duns. How are you? How are you scared of your children? To the look the other day, I was I went to a, I went to a customer yeah in my line of work yeah, and 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 the father was telling me oh my kid didn't speak to me for two days because I because I because I because I slightly spoke aggressively to him because he was doing something wrong. Oh my! And the kid was and the parent who was saying it to me the father he felt so dejected and so sad. Big man, why are you feeling sad? Mm. You go up there. You put him on food strike. You're telling him, big man, you ain't coming out this room until you fix up, yeah? You don't want to talk to me. All right, there's no dinner for you, innit? Yeah? And you just do the mad thing because some of you kids have taken over the roost. Yeah. You've kicked out your... Sim you, you, you know about David Attenborough, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you know when the rooster's born, yeah? yeah? The parents are trying to fledge him to go and fly, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. But instead, the, the, the little chick is telling the parents go and fly. Mm. It, can't, it can't work like that, yeah? You guys meant to be leading the ship you guys need to be strict, have dignity, share the morals that I, I hope your parents gave to you, yeah? About what, what is a good standing citizen because none of that's here anymore. And I could go on, but Facts. we'll have to cut it there, innit? You parents just grow a backbone, man. <laughs> and just try and, just, you need to put in more effort. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because some of you parents don't even know where your kids are at, at night time. They don't even come straight from school to home. Me, I, I, I came straight from school, straight home. It was a must. Get your little Sunday, get your little Sunday dinner, little rice and peas. Do your little homework if you're doing any, and and and, and your mother knows you're safe yeah. and everything's going good. So you guys need to work on if you've got a broken home, work on putting it together. Yeah, mm -hmm. work on trying to stay together. Because another thing, relationships these days are very fickle. Now, when the child sees that there's no really there's no effort amongst the adults, then why are the kids gonna try? If the parents, if the adults ain't trying, why should the kids try? Mm. So you lot be be the be the representatives of what the future needs to be, yeah? And just pick up the belt and mash them down if you need to, if anything, yeah? That's the last resort, yeah? I'm boom, bow. Right, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> the Funny Francis and Dre podcast. <laughs>